Hi, welcome to our introductory video for SES Library, our object library containing a large number of items commonly used in the electrical, railway, and pipeline industries. SES Library is a keystone for many SES applications that can import the data stored within it. Data can also be viewed in the standalone mode. In this video tutorial, Getting Started with SES Library, you will learn how to open SES Library in the standalone mode and select a database and find an item in the selected database and add new items to the selected database. Then you will learn how to open SES Library in the import mode and select a given database and then find and import an item. We will begin by starting SES Library in standalone mode. Locate the SES software folder on your desktop. Double click it and then go into the tools folder where you will find the icon for the SES Library app. Double click on it to start the application. Currently, SES Library contains several databases, a conductor database, a cable database, a fence post database, a gas insulated substation and line database, and a cathodic protection and mitigation database. In order to navigate to a different database, all you need to do is to select the desired database in this category filter window from the component library selection drop-down menu. The category filters that are available for the selected database will automatically be displayed once the database is selected. The category filter window shown here appears when the application is launched and can also be accessed anytime by selecting the Categories button in the Home ribbon. Category filters can also be accessed by clicking on Library in the menu bar. Each database has its own unique filter types. However, the overall process of choosing filters and searching for items is essentially the same for every database. In this video tutorial, we will be focusing on the Conductor database. When SES Library is first opened, the Category Filter window has the Conductor database as a default choice in the Component Library selection, and all the categories are set to All. When you click on OK, all the conductors contained in SES Library will be displayed and arranged in increasing order by their ID number. The default layout of SES Library contains four panels, Menus, Databases, Properties, and 3D Viewer. Other panels, such as Issues List, Search, and Search Results, are also available, but by default they are either hidden or not displayed. You can select the panels to be displayed via the View menu. Some of the items contained in SES Library are provided with their SES Impedance files, and in this case, the name of the SES Impedance file is displayed in a dedicated tab. Clicking on the SES Impedance icon will open that file. Introducing SES Impedance is beyond the scope of this tutorial. There is, however, a separate video tutorial for SES Impedance, which you are invited to refer to in order to learn more about that application's capabilities. You can facilitate your search for a specific conductor in SES Library by sorting the items in the grid according to any column, and then identifying the conductor that corresponds to your needs. You can also narrow down the list of the conductors that are displayed with the default filters. Category filters can be accessed either by selecting Library in the menu bar or by clicking on the Categories button in the Home ribbon, which will bring up the Category Filter window, showing the filters for the conductor database. Here you can specify your own filtering options under each category filter. For example, if you select Power Electric under Industry, United States under Country, Overhead Shield Wire under Application, and AlumaWeld under Conductor Class, you will end up with 35 AlumaWeld conductors. When you double-click an item in the grid, the characteristics of that item will be pinned in the Properties panel. When you have more than one conductor pinned in the Properties panel, you can open any one of them in a separate new tab group by first right-clicking on the selected item and then from the context menu selecting either New Horizontal or New Vertical Tab Group. This enables you to switch between and efficiently display and compare different items. To further focus your search, you may wish to access filtering options which are accessible by hovering on the icon located above the column headers in the grid. Or you can use the search tool that is found in the Home ribbon, which is useful for doing a global search. With SES Library, you can also add new conductors to your conductor database. This can be done in two distinct ways. 
If you already have your own conductor classes that were created with the legacy SES Conductor Database application, you can import these by clicking on the Tools menu and then selecting Import From. Alternatively, you can create your own conductors by clicking on the Add button under the Home ribbon. Next, we will take a look at how SES Library can be used in import mode. SES Library is the default application when items are imported to other SES applications. For the purposes of this video tutorial, we will demonstrate how to import AlumaWeld conductors to the SES Trayline application. A similar sequence of steps would be followed to import items into other applications. In SES Trayline, we will start by bringing up the cross sections panel. Then, in the Define System Components area of that panel, we'll double click on the cell under the Component Type column, and from the menu that appears, we will select Create New and then From Database. This will open the Category Filter screen of SES Library, and from this point, we can follow the same sequence of steps as if we were using SES Library in standalone mode. With the Conductor Database selected and the Component Library Selection drop down menu, Again, we choose Power Electric for the Industry category, United States for Country, Overhead Shield Wire for the Application category, and finally, AlumaWeld for the Conductor Class category. Upon clicking the OK button in the Category Filter window, the AlumaWeld conductors will be displayed in the grid. And from here, all you have to do is to navigate to the conductor of interest, and then click on Import. This will close the SES Library window and the selected conductor will be imported to the client application, which in this case is SES Trayline. Thank you for watching this introductory video. If you would like to learn more about SES Library, we invite you to refer to our online help, which is located under Help, Manuals, Interface Help, or can be accessed by simply pressing F1 from within the application. If you require further help, you can either send us an email or give us a call. Contact information can be found on this screen and via the contact hyperlink shown here.